features that the business tool has to offer. BI stands for business intelligence. As we all know, business deals with a large amount of data and information. The problem is this data is in a raw format. So companies are trying to use this data to take effective decisions. The problem is, since it is raw format, it, is, it will be difficult for them to analyze the data. So first they need to clean this data. Unless and until it is cleaned, it will not be able to process. Because the raw data means junk of data that is not organized. That means if you take an Excel sheet, if you put some data into the Excel sheet, with lots of uh, typo error, missing data, you can consider that as a raw data. So what they are going to do is, with business intelligence, they will clean the data, the tool will clean the data, and it will arrange the data with respect to data types, and it will arrange it in columns and tables. That is meant by cleaning. It will remove all the errors in the data. So we can take an example of a on-grid solar system. So on-grid solar system means a system where the electricity is converted to AC current through solar through inverter from solar panel and it will be shared to the house and excess electricity will be given and provided to the necessary electricity boot. The problem in this uh, on-grid solar system is if there is a power shortage in the main supply that will affect the house also because since it is a two-way like they are giving to the electricity board and the current is coming back the power supply once a power shortage occurs in the electricity board of course in the house also the power supply will affect no power will be there in the house so with respect to this they can analyze what is what the company whether the company sales will uh, go high or whether the company is uh, will face any 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 debt or the, whether the company sales will go down or whatever future things the company needs to know everything can be done everything can be analyzed with respect to the data what we are going to get through this because anyway when they install all these things they will get lots of data the data will be of customers how many electro how many power usage or where the location especially the location is important because whether they are installing it in a rural place or in an urban place so name of all the clients the year of installation everything they will get of course this data will be there already with the company so with this data the company needs to clean this data and organize it in a way that it can analyze the data and it can predict the future predict the future means it can do some analysis with respect to this data for that they need to clean this data because everything will be data entered entry and uh, most of them. there will be some errors in the data and of course there will be missing values also so with this respect they can analyze the data even they can check the sales with respect to the location that is important because if it is an urban place the sales will be proper because there won't be any power shortage in that place if it is a rural area there will be power shortage so that might affect the sales so everything can be checked with respect to the data they are going to collect it they can check with yearly sales quarterly sales they can check whether the consistency is correct they can measure they can take measure how to improve the sales with respect to all the analysis which they are getting so for analyzing all these things the business intelligence they have divided it into three type of analysis one is descriptive analysis A descriptive analysis means what is happening and why it is happening that means what the, the current company what they are doing now 
and what is it doing now? That means if you take the case of uh, the on-grid solar system, solar system company, what they are doing? They are just providing solar power to lots of houses. That is what is happening. So we can get lots of information from the how many they have given, which locality they have given the most, which are the if they are giving to some very big clients like very big companies, which are the top ten companies which they have given. So all this data they can get it through descriptive analysis. The next type of analysis is predictive analysis. With respect to the predictive analysis is what will happen in the future or maybe what will happen to the sales after one year if this if this kind of and if this kind of sales is going through this year what will happen after one year or after five years what will happen all this can be done through predictive analysis there is no need for us to calculate anything or or uh, do anything everything is a drag and drop in power bi so everything we can understand through this business intelligence predictive analysis the next type of analysis is like once the, through predictive analysis we will understand that okay the company is going good or company will go down whether the sales will go up whether the profit will go up or whether the profit will go down with respect to this two descriptive and predictive analysis the third one is prospective analysis where we can do certain things that we can take certain measures upon these other two descriptive and predictive analysis that is what these three analysis are first is we can know the information what is going on then we can get the insight what will happen then we can do the foresight okay if that happens what we can do to overcome if any failure happens how we can overcome that or if any if the sales goes up okay what we can do according to the sales go up if accordingly if the sales go up so business intelligence what it does is we all may we we have discussed it will take the data it will extract the data it will extract the data means the data will be might be in an excel sheet or might be in a uh, database or might be in a csv form and it will extract all those data and it will the next step what it will do is it will transform the data transform the data means it will clean the data there will be certain in uh, there is a tool uh, in business intelligence called ssis in that tool we have lots of transformation options called fuzzy lookup uh, lookup group lookup fuzzy group so with all these kind of things they can they they can transform the data means they can clean the data and they can change the data formatting everything that they, they can take change the data type they can uh, make the relations between the two data and they can load the data into a, a particular server or mostly uh, in a, a cloud database or azure data same like azure database this is what happens exactly what in a business intelligence it will extract transform and load the data so in business intelligence the mainly msbi means msbi means microsoft business intelligence in msbi sql service integration is there sql server integration services is there in that we can in that we will take the raw data we will clean up the data and we will we will be storing the data into sql server or in azure database but instead of that in power bi we will get the raw data through excel file db or file file or anything um, or api or even live data we will get the raw data we will take the data we will clean the data and then we will be analyzing the data analyzing the data instead of storing the data the database we will be analyzing the data or another way is that we can take directly the data from data storehouse warehouse where we can get the data from sql server or azure database and we can analyze and visualize the data to the client
it raw data, exactly what happens is it will get the raw data and it will do an extract and transform. That means it will clean the data and it will extract the data, clean the data, then it will give proper relationship between data. It means it, they need, they, the data will be having two, three tables like if it is an Excel, if it is an, an Excel sheet, it will be having two three sheets. It will be having in Excel, and all the sheets will be having some common columns which will be related to each other. Then only the, the proper relationship and the proper modeling of data will happen. Those kind of modelings can be done inside Power BI itself. So after that, the data will be visualized in the there will be so there are certain wonderful visual visuals in Power BI where we can visual that clean and model data. Once the data is visualized, the data will be published to the, to the cloud service. Publishing to the cloud service means we can understand that okay, it is just uploading the data and the visualization to the cloud service. The cloud service is called Power BI service so it will be the data will be published to the cloud service and once the data is published in the service there the developer will be creating dashboard with respect to different insights different insights means with respect to sales he will be making a dashboard with with respect to the profit he will be making a dashboard with with respect to the marketing he will be creating a dashboard with uh, with respect to the competitors. He will be creating a dashboard, and all these dashboard will be shared to the stakeholders. Stakeholders means whoever is there in his team. Like his, he he will be it will be shared with his manager. It will be shared with his team lead, and even it will be shared with the clients. So once the client get the data, the client will be able to understand how his company or how his system is going on and how he can how everything will be the prediction and everything will be shown to the client even you can share the link there there is an option for sharing the link to the client so that if the client wants to put the link to certain web pages or embed it into certain web portals they can use it so for this reason Power BI is a wonderful tool and it is I can tell it is more good to use than as MSBI MSBI like SSIS and SSRS. We are giving some SQL command to change whatever is happen if there is a change uh, if might be like uh, okay if you are having a country table and uh, certain countries uh, certain values you have written as US and certain values you have written as United States. Everything should be in a proper way. So, so for that, it, uh, this fuzzy lookup will be searching all those kind of values. We have to mention all those things in the fuzzy lookup and then we have to write the SQL command so that everything will become proper and then it will be moved to the another database. So this is a tool which is used to do ETL extra transform and load. I'm going to study. This is the data from an Excel sheet. These are all the sheets in the Excel file. There were six, seven sheets that were there in the Excel file, and all the sheets we have taken it as tables, and this is the relationship between all the sheets there will be some kind of key values where all the tables can be linked together and uh, in between certain tables we ourselves can create and we can link it with to give to get the proper and to get a complete good description so that the visualization will be more proper and more clearer this is the visualization options visualization screen where we have all these visualization tools we can use it and we can play with it and we can 
this is a publish button where we have to publish it to the where we will be uploading everything data with the visualization to the service to the cloud do in the power bi desktop everything will be shown here everything will be shown in this workspace where we can select here you can see dashboards are there we can now no dashboard is there we can create a dashboard here and then we can share it with anybody all these things we will be we will be discussing it in the coming sessions just just to make sure that okay you are understanding everything every you are giving you are getting a good view of the data whatever things we are going to discuss i'm just showing everything so this is the final thing in power bi where in the power bi service we will be mentioning who more to give who more to be shared here the roles and responsibilities will be there some people can only view the data some people can do analysis with the data some people can edit the data so everything will be done here the roles then we can refresh the data we can do incremental refresh everything will be mentioned and everything will be studied in the next sessions to come so this is the final thing from here the client will see everything whatever they need all the raw data everything will be cleaned and processed and given to the client from here